axes with her force variable looking for Stiver. She is going to find him and is pulled by a trio of Dusty and Voxy. There's no Stiver being far down in his jetpack. She heads to the nearest wall and is looking for the arsenal and goes to reaches his trail. He sets off after him and he's focusing on going upward. He has to strike him in the back and throws up a barrier. He, sh he is about to get shot, but he uses a force variable barrier and sees a blurry shape. Her, she has a new plan into the palace, and she has to head through the walls, and sees that there's a captive, a Jedi, and the Hexes are trying to escape. She has to do the corpse and takes the Jedi off with him. She takes the dead Hex and takes that too, and now she's heading away from Hutta. Chapter 20 Shigar sees a spaceport on plans of the palace, but he thinks about Laren's well-being. He's heading about thinking about his master would think about the situation. He heads to Casa Baresh and sees that the uh, security detail from Casa Baresh and that the spaceport still open. He, he is ready for action and is about to head up in the ship. He sees that there could be an override and repulsors are shrieking in the airlock. He, was, he falls unconscious and gathers by a security team that secures him and takes him to Barash's stone room. Barash is quizzing him about uh, that he is a Jedi and that not a Sith. He says that he will not die and says that there is a... He says he did not steal from the Sith and she wants to use it for entertainment. He says he can use like Imperials and use a way to cut their losses. He said they can... They can uh... Do a uh, venture with assistance. Says someone will have to join them, and he accepts the offer. And he's taken away. Chapter 21. Darren looks at the smuggler, and she's all right on her knees. She has been flayed, but she has like she's been healed up. She, her fingers can't be regrown, and she has to um hard to fight without the clunkers. She has to find a survivor, and she. He calls back to the uh, who it is. She was going to fill it out on their past. It says she's are going to hold their promises. And that something could be get at. And there could be a blast coming from the silver alloy. Someone could win the auction and go away. And there could be a homing instinct. There's worth a thought. But the bear of the rifle. I'm really smuggled on the clock. And then so Tyr Brush has enough money. What they have to do about the Cynthia and save them from destruction. And the ship was impounded, but they can still get out there. There was an army that was sent to capture four people. They have to follow it with Jet's help, with the help of Clunker as well. They're not surrendering, and they're going to continue moving through the thing. Chapter 22. Ulus has to in Brush's office, and he realized he should never cut to Hutta, and how everything could be betrayed by him, and he's certain that he may die. And he still has shame that people have turned him away when he heads to the spaceport. He realized there could be hope and there couldn't be war, but he still blames himself. And someone tells him to go in and he rises again. And he's introduced to uh, Shigar and has to like talk to him now. And he says that they have to work with Jet and stuff. And they have to work with the prophets as well. And they have to do some victory. And he says they have to take Clunker as well and he has to join them. But he, he takes the carry on and realizes that he has to go there. There are fires in that luxury vessel, but all of them have to work on the ship. But now they don't know where to go to, but they said it's a made up contract that they have to crack the cipher to. They realize that they have to do what they do to build the hexes and go through wild space. They have to use Shigar's psychometric ability with one of the uh, pieces of the nest and it will take a while she has he has talked to master tell first and decides to like go there as well before there chapter 23 Jigar paces the orior fires cramp hall waiting to get patched with typhon he talks to his chan and asks that he needs his counsel about the events that going on he retells with everything he says that the technology is out of experience, but be, be, she believes bleh, that, you know, it's evolving and these are her creations. And when he converts to the princess, he asks about their mother, and it could be related to Cynthia, and the motives are unknown. But it's in the middle of the empire and has to use psychometry, but she has to still find it out in many ways. 
And then Laren doesn't want didn't want to eavesdrop, but he realizes that there could be something wrong, especially with the blood stuff, and that the force is with him. He takes it out of her arms and has to keep some secrets and has to set, think about the Black Star was never like this. When he gounces up, he was gone. Chapter twenty four. The Imperial Shadow came out of hyperspace in the deep world of Kant. And they're looking for a uh, special Pettis and Dark Kratos from Axe. She takes someone secure to open the box and says that there's an important droid. It says that the droid has something in there, but it doesn't sure. But her master is angry. They didn't claim it. He said he was a puppet and that he accused her of being angry about his mother. And he explains that the Cynthia is connected and the huts are in there too. And they have to uncover a route. And, she, and he'll have to take her there until their positions are reversed. Chapter 25. The Mike Kip tells her that her work is done. Later on slides it off and looks through a suitcase to, to something he, she can wear. People are sound asleep and see Shigar cross-legged. And he talks to him when they can return and says it's a challenge that they could do. It. And he says that what she happened about the armor and stuff, and that how stuff happens, and that's old armor. He says that she has to do it, and maybe. And he's speaking from experience, they need to try. He doesn't have to tell her. He says they could bore you to death, and they could find a planet, and say that she can leave you to it. The Jigar listens to her go and has some confession. She's been building up the ladder for some time, he realizes he might have to turn his back on the Jedi Order. And it, the faith is not unwarranted. He tries to hang out to him physically and mentally. And goes through the Cynthia and sees something in a pool of blood. And he realized that he could do it again. And he sees the Cynthia of the galaxy and blurry men and women. He sees something that led him to Sandra. And realizes the same line from, from earlier. We do not recognize your authority. He has He's found the world. And he said that he can pin it down. And it would be another thing entirely. Chapter 26. Spedisu looks up at Axe looks in the quarantine bay. There's much to report. And he says that there's something that developed after the factory and it's irrelevant. It's in the brain. It could fly ship if needed and it could do more things. He, she checks the examination and comes to her own conclusion. It's very different. Realize the droid is now dead, but it has something in it. Coordinates to where to go next. He realized that Xandra went to that isolated heaven. Haven and he has to try again, but it keeps coming back. It looks right, but it's a, even though it's a black hole, they'll be leaving too. That's where they're all going now. Part four, Sabadon, Chapter Twenty Seven. All of the rest play.